Yeah. I got one more thing to get out of yeah. here yes. before we chat it up. And I want to touch on this. I bet I do more on this uh, next time as well. Okay. okay. Uh, but this has to do with nonprofits. The reason I got spun off on this is this uh, egregious attack. Uh, that uh, OEA has against EPIC. I'm becoming an okay. EPIC charter school's uh, sycophant or a, a, a apologist just mm -hmm. just because of the unruly attack yeah. from the OEA NEA. Yeah. Okay. And so they, they use this pejorative term, yeah, because EPIC charter schools is a for-profit. <gasps> it's for-profit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they they act like nonprofit is a great idea and somehow honorable. So I've dug in a little bit yeah. to the history, this uh, the the real popular concept of um, this idea of nonprofit. It was Andrew Carnegie, the Gospel of Wealth was the name of the book. Mm -hmm. He suggested this was a circa 1901 ish. And he suggested that millionaires spend their money on pools and libraries and schools and stuff. And uh, with this surplus of wealth, he would say, and that and how we should buy libraries. Because if, they're, if you give a library to a community, they'll maintain it. Oh, that's the first little problem with the gospel of wealth from 1901 is, yeah. is that the idea was if you give the community a library, they won't burn it down from the second floor like they do in Tulsa. Okay, so first thing is the people don't take care of what the millionaires give them. That's oh, the first problem. The yeah. second problem is he continued to say we'll buy swimming pools, etc., for uh, with this surplus wealth. Now you'll recall from your economic history that in circa 1901 to about 1920 was called prosperity was going on. And there was a thing that he was talking about called surplus wealth. Well, fast forward to today, and each taxpayer owes about $400,000. This is from a John Malden story, Wednesday, uh, 22nd, 2017. Okay, the, the, the actual... Call. I have a, a small child, she's in sixth grade, and she owes over $70,000 just for being a citizen of the United States. Mm -hmm. Because we don't have what they were talking about from the gospel of wealth, mm -hmm. Andrew Carnegie. It's called surplus wealth. We don't have wealth. Right. Now, this leads me to the constitutional query that Tommy McKay has. Welcome to Tommy McKay's constitutional query. <laughs> the nonprofit organizations, what right. they do is they get a tax break mm -hmm. to pay people to write grants to get more free money. Mm -hmm. They use a thing called double line billing mm -hmm. where they calculate the impact. Instead of calculating profit loss, mm -hmm. they say we spent so much money on administration. And the other line is we spent so much money on fundraising. Yeah. So, so no, they never, just, they always balance expense against expense. They get a tax write off suggesting that we have surplus money. Every single citizen should be paying their full tax burden until we get. Now here's your answer to those who are looking for solutions instead of just okay. yammering and opinions. We no. need to knock it off with anybody getting a nonprofit, except for those that are constitutionally bound, like okay. the churches. But all your nonprofits need to no more get the tax break until we are out of debt. Okay, now, okay. I want to clarify, he's not suicidal. If he should show up dead, <laughs> it, he did not mention well, the there's Clinton. There's no reason to make a threat, David. Well, you, you didn't say Clinton Foundation, but you're getting awfully close to making some powerful you're people nervous. You're a dangerous nervous. man, Dave. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like he has the power by himself to end all nonprofits. <laughs> <laughs> like people think I no, have for but, Social but, Security. But here's country. the thing. Everything it's, you're talking about, the sham, hello, Clinton Foundation. Well, well, there's that. It's stay the, philosophical. Well, look, it's a philosophical, ridiculous uh, well, let's, irony. Yeah. Let's, oh, yeah, let's unpack this a little bit. Because let's understand, before um, 19, well, in 1901, charity was charity. Yeah. Okay, there was no government charity, or it was it was minimal at best. Yeah. Okay, and very minimal. Mm -hmm. Tax rates were extremely low. There was no income tax. Yeah. The the taxes that were collected for to run the federal government were collected by the states on a per capita basis 
and given to the um, given to the federal government. Okay, I got to clarify something though. You're referring to federal tax status. We don't know how the states collected taxes back then. Well, I can get into that a little okay. bit as well. But yeah. but but because he's talking mm -hmm. about a federal entity, yeah. you know, nonprofits and federal mm -hmm. taxes. Okay. And then, but then we also have to, to deal with the states, and we're going to get to that in a minute. But really, everything changed in 1917, 1913, with the passage of the, of the 16th Amendment. Yep. Okay. Now, um, the, and, then, and then later in 17, with the passage of the 17th Amendment. Yep. The, the problem was that, that with that change, was a diabolical move by the Andrew Carnegie's, Rockefellers, and others to to put off, to off put the the responsibility for caring for communities from themselves to the middle class. Right. Yep. Okay. And it was a it was actually a scheme. That that started out by saying we're only taxing the top one percent. Yep, I've never heard okay. that before. Never heard that before. <laughs> only taxing the one percent, but then it very quickly turned, and by World War II was taxing the middle class mm -hmm. much more than it was the, the millionaires the, the and billionaires. Now, mind you, they were then hiding in. They were hiding all their excess money. Oh yeah, in all these charity nonprofits. Yeah. Who were then tax free, and so they got still got to utilize all this money, and utilize through these nonprofits ways to get to garner better tax breaks, which came back to actually earning them money. Now we see this right here in Tulsa, and we saw this with the with the construction of the Gathering Place, sure. which was not philanthropic. It actually made a profit for the one who did the quote unquote donating. Yeah. Because of all the tax breaks and, and right. so forth that, that he therefore got all through that ended up coming back to him. So yeah. it ended up being a net profit for him, not a spent an expenditure. Yeah. And and so we have to start re examining how we look at these things. Is this really is this really, and, and and what does it mean not for profit? Does that mean that everybody who's working there is donating their time? Oh, hospital. no, not a not a second. All the hospitals are not for profit. Don't you see how they're well? And, and you see, but everybody has a job, including mm -hmm. the people on the board who are raking in millions. Yeah, so like it, that's not profit. From from the socialist mantra that we're all in this together, and the right. concept that as a society we have a monetary debt. It's not like a, a moral debt that you can't calculate. We have numbers mm -hmm. of dollars we owe. Every single citizen owes it. Now, right yeah. now, okay. because we are so desperate, we're the, the here's the important point from this article. The debt Congress has run up on our behalf yeah. is $62,000 per citizen, but the rest, $56,000 per citizen in debt, we've taken on ourselves. So businesses and people are also extending the debt. My, my point is to stay out of the weeds of judging whether one person has good intent or another ha person has good intent. The idea of a nonprofit or a not-for-profit business is unethical at a time when we are $28 billion and in debt. Are, well, when we are in I, debt. I, I Every like citizen response. needs to okay. be working to create profit. The other part of this sheltering wealth that happens is in trusts. Uh, it's now become standard fare for an elder person before they're going to have to go to a nursing home is they will put their home and other assets in a trust. Correct. And as long as five years go by before they have to get government assistance, then that home stays in the family in a family trust. Now, I'm not going to mention your name. You know who I'm talking about, but it's it's something I'm very familiar with. Right. You know, and so this is just another thing where people hide wealth in trusts as well, well as and it's it's us. not about hiding, guys. Yeah. It, because it's not the mode now, I'm now mind, about. mind you, Tom, you almost sound like you you have bought into the the, the socialist tyrannical mantra yourself. 
no, saying that, that we I owe it. Their, I cleverly use their argument against them. Well, it's on. <laughs> no, the, the point is, the point is that these debts have been illegally, illegally racked up. Racked up. Sure is. Okay. Yeah. Now, mind you, there is there the vast majority of our debt is for social welfare programs, the socialism that we have going on in America right now, all of which, mm -hmm. all of which, is illegal. So the debt itself is illegal, and anybody contributing to it has no right to expect a return on that on that quote unquote investment. No right, okay. none, because we didn't have the no, no, no one in government, no group of people making a making a vote on behalf of the rest has the right to take upon an illegal debt now, and okay. force everyone else to pay for it. Now your 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 plan. I mean, you're not really suggesting a plan, but what you're suggesting is a wholesale categorical denial of what people are doing now, oh, which yeah. sounds. Oh me, yeah. Which oh, sounds yeah. to he me, admits like, it. <laughs> which sounds to me like every other socialist plan I've ever heard, where it will only work if everybody starts doing it at the same time. Because what I'm suggesting is that we have a hemorrhage of dollars, and whether you're right or wrong about everything being illegal, da, 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 what I'm saying is that's where your hemorrhage is. <clears throat> your spending is your hemorrhage. Okay. Not, and, not your and collection. Is in in more important spending other people's money. Yes. So yes. every person that collects a tax break, every nonprofit or not for profit organization that gets a break on their tax because of that IRS standing is stealing money from everybody else. No, 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 no. And and yeah. And, well, no, no, that's not true. No, because because keeping your own money. The, the problem is the, is the system itself that's been set up because we all, we all are to be, um, we are, all are to have the equal protection of the laws, but we don't because they have set up loopholes and things so certain people get, get certain protections and other people don't. Besides the that's church, the there is no nonprofit listed uh, in the Constitution, right? Uh, well, the first of all, the, no, keep oh, well, okay. it If you're a nonprofit, the Constitution was put up at a time when the federal government wasn't taxing. They were doing tariffs, but there was not an income tax. In fact, there was a constitutional stipulation that the federal government cannot do an income tax. Absolutely. Paying your taxes is a duty. Not, not, a, not for the illegal portions of your tax bill. Your taxes, okay. your taxes yeah. that you actually Fine, owe I'm not are getting a into those mere fraction. Weeds. I'm talking yeah. about the philosophical understanding that at this time, when our society is this deep in debt, we cannot afford to have non-profit organizations not pitching into the tax Well, bill. again, again, you're, you're wanting to hold on to the, we've got to keep things as they are in, in terms of the spending. No, if you if you take I never said that. Well, hang on. Yeah. If you <laughs> take it, no, if we if 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 government got completely out of the the socialism and we ended all socialist programs, so, social programs in the United States, federal, state and local, we would have so much left over. We could pay that pay that debt down in a in in a, a matter of under a decade and we could we would be debt free Again, let me uh, read this important information from John Malden. And before. everybody would take a major tax break. Okay, let me read this. Uh, I, I think this is important information from John Malden. His uh, article is entitled, Each U.S. Taxpayer Now Owes About $400,000. It says, the U.S. national debt has surged to almost $20 trillion. And the state and local debt is another $3.2 trillion. So see, yeah. there's the, you're adding up here. Yeah. The twenty uh, yeah. the twenty trillion is in the face. Uh, the twenty trillion is the face amount of all outstanding Treasury securities. It doesn't right. include unfunded liabilities like Social Security and Medicare. Right. Those right. are down at the very bottom of the page. Mm -hmm. But if you set them aside for now, break down that national and state and local debt by the number of U.S. citizens, we find that each, every man, woman, and child owe over seventy thousand dollars. Worse yet, the total debt per taxpayer 
is over $190,000 riding fast. Mm -hmm. If you include unfunded liabilities, the total debt per taxpayer rises to about $1.2 million, yeah. give or take. Right. And that number does not include the unfunded liabilities at the state and local level, right. including the pensions that are theoretically guaranteed by the states. So we are so far down, regardless of how illegally gone we've been for 200 years, mm -hmm. we can't afford. My suggestion is we should stop all nonprofit organizations nope. Nope, from not getting the tax. I'm, 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 I will never support that. Yeah. Why? Because the, 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 the only thing that I would support would be um, an elimination of, the, of any status. Um, that gives anybody a break over anyone else. Mm -hmm. That's what nonprofits get, is a break over other people. Well, but you're still wanting to maintain them if it's because of a religious philosophy. It's got to be a, It's got to be across fine. the board. Everything's got to be equal. Yeah. Pitch it. And, and then no, the I, other I, thing any, is... Uh, fine. I, I, the only reason I gave the caveat to the church was because I thought it was written in somewhere. No. Fine. I don't care. Nobody deserves a tax break right yet till we get what's called surplus wealth but we well, all need to, to we all need to be profit. rebelling we all need to be rebelling and not paying our taxes well yeah and because nobody no 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 american has a lawful tax bill so not one um, it <laughs> starts it starts with this uh, a balanced budget mandate that you can't spend more than what you've got because otherwise what you're doing is screwing the next generation no, it's not about a balanced debt. budget mandate it's i'm not saying a, i'm not no, saying it's, it's about, all it's about, about that a, i'm saying that if that starts with this you're living on this much that doesn't even talk about the debt it talks but about you, the but, you, but this is the point is you can have a balanced budget and have it be all illegal it's all well, about getting your spending lawful as soon as that happens everything changes and we get out of we get out from under the, the, the problem the is when you talk are about spending illegally, that's the, what I'm saying. What I'm suggesting that them spending and getting not paying their taxes is spending illegally. It is nonprofits are no. entities that do nothing but spend. The, that's they don't his create point. You've got any well, money. Point. Well, so the, the problem is the problem all they're is, doing is spending. So control nonprofit spending. That's one point. You've got another point. I think it's valid. Yeah. yeah. The 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 point is that. I can spend my money, my money, mm -hmm. any way I want. Mm -hmm. And government can't dictate to me that I have to spend it one way or another, or else I'm going to have to pay them a bunch of money. That's just more dictates. Okay, here's what I'm hearing. is three people all saying something different. I'm saying that you don't straddle the next generation to pay for things you borrowed money Absolutely for this year. Absolutely you can't. And then your spending must meet with the founding constitutional principles of we don't give uh, entitlements to individuals. Davy Crockett bought that battle. Yes. Remember that? That was one of the first yes. ones. And you know, and your point is that Well actually he, he was he was he was condemned by a guy from exactly. and my point is, yeah. 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 <laughs> and, and your point is I'm hearing it, correct me if I'm wrong, is that everybody should have an equal responsibility however you define equally and people quit carving out little shelters for themselves that are not generally if available you, if you the got, morality of yeah, sharing i think the that's pretty accurate i think okay. if you've got your little bicycle not-for-profit bicycle group uh yeah. no friends that doesn't help anybody out well but the here. thing is the thing is that group if they formed a a coalition and had money in the bank cannot be then forced to pay taxes because they've all put money into that group and it's just to spend money for themselves they've already paid taxes on that money it's their money it's just in a group okay. and and, 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 they, th and that's the that's the problem is because you end up being double and triple taxing people okay how about the concept of a nonprofit organization buying and owning and selling property that's mm -hmm. called profit, if you ask me. Yeah, I, I see. Mean, what give you're me a break. That. How can you own okay. profit so, and be a non profit? Yeah. It's and, total bullcrap. Here's a bigger argument. Alan Keyes made it so well back in 2000 presidential primary debates is that the whole idea of an income tax is essentially slavery. Correct. Yes. Now, if you tax consumption, that's a different deal. But to tax their income, 
it's just arbitrary somewhere between 0.1% and 100% because 100% tax is slavery. I would right. note, right? right? Correct. You know, well, so one, so 1. we seven million dollars. Well, yeah. one, 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 one point seven million million dollars on every taxpayer's head, of, according to his numbers, right? Yeah, one point two um, or, or one point whatever it was. One point two million. Okay, mm-hmm. that's slavery. That mm-hmm. that you owe just by yeah. being born an American, you owe. Mm-hmm. That's slavery. Yeah. And let's understand that is all it is, and and it is being and it is because of the evil people today spending debt money, only spending and and racking up indebtedness that it is coming upon future generations. It is incumbent upon us to end the the illegal spending that drives up drives up the debt and that can only end by ending the social programs quite frankly we've got to end a lot of the military stuff that we do um but but it's primarily it's the social programs basically the paul harv uh, the ron paul platform plank in 2016 i mean in a nutshell he he laid it forth yes yeah because he's saying that you know defense is one thing if you're truly defending us but when you got bases all over the world they can hardly call well, that defending our and, borders and that would be a political decision that we have to make yeah. but we cannot be we cannot be then um running the world as a, as policemen. as a, as as policemen as basically as basically running the world being emperor of the of the globe um and 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 then putting that on the the backs of our children right. gentlemen we got to get out of here i <laughs> guarantee you i'm going to have more to say about these nonprofit organizations yeah. i am going to recommend a book uh, to you again this week this one's called uh, the profit margin i'm sorry the profit motive in education and uh, so i'm going to be talking about that next week a little bit more about getting the profit motive put back into education uh, it wasn't until 1833 that governments even started yeah. getting into okay. education. L- we got to close it out. Yeah, look at uh, 3D Politics on Facebook. Uh, you'll see the article called uh, Cabin Fever. Yes. Uh, I want you to comment on there where you think some of the best destinations in Oklahoma are to go. I'd love to get some feedback. Any chit-chat before we get out of here? I think I've said it. What about, about your What about your fantasy caucus and cards? How yeah, are they doing? Yeah. I have a question about that. Well, the cards we're going to wait and, and reprint this we'll next again. one coming up. Uh, the Freedom uh, Index is coming up. Here All right. So, so to get out of here, I got and, a question about the caucus. Yeah, yeah. The fantasy uh, lawmakers dot com. We got more and more people joining our beta testing, and we're giving some hints. I know Oldham's been pretty out spoken about what's going to be on that index you <laughs> yeah. know i want to see a, a some sort of how, how you damage uh one of your players should be when they do that thing you were talking about if one of these legislatures holds out a yes vote and then switches at the last second yeah. that needs to count against them in there i know it, i know it, it, it if it's the right bill if yeah, it's, if it's a liberty you see what bill, I'm saying? It's a just a, it's a, get it a little bit more yeah. intricate into how to right. grade these. You guys. know, sometimes yeah. just like my article last week, where I called him out, showed the screenshot, and that that's probably more humiliation than anything. Well, a lot of people scroll. Fast. Oh, but we don't shame here. Yeah. We don't. We don't shame <laughs> at all. Yeah. I'll tell you one we thing. educate. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing: we don't raise do. awareness. <laughs> we don't delete tweets around here. That's what I have to do. <laughs> hey, that is all the time we got yeah. for tonight. Three D politics. We pushed it down pretty hard uh, tonight. Tom E. McKay on Twitter and David Van, SoonerPolitics.org. David Oldham right there at ConstitutionalGrounds.com. Uh, uh, we'll see you all again next week on 3D Politics. Good night. <laughs>